Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Jan Christoph Duda and Hikaru Nakamura. This is a game from Grand Chess Tour, Rapid and Blitz tournament played in Paris in 2019. Duda had white pieces and he started with d4. Hikaru Nakamura played knight to f6. Bishop to g5, the Trompovsky attack. e6, and now e4, threatening e5. Asking a question. Bishop takes on f6. In cases when white played bishop to h4, players with black pieces continued with g5, and after bishop to g3, knight takes on e4, and the results were not good for the players with the white pieces. Back to our game. After h6, we have bishop takes on f6, queen takes on f6, white to move, knight to f3, and knight to c3 are the two most played moves. Duda played c3. Interestingly, this is the move that Nakamura played in the Gibraltar Masters tournament in 2008. But after c3, Nakamura's opponent continued with d6. Nakamura played d5, almost provoking e5. Bishop to d3. If e5, most of the time, black plays queen to d8, or queen to g6. Back to our game. Bishop to d3. And now c5, in the style of the French defense. Knight to f3, c takes on d4, c takes on d4, d takes on e4, bishop takes on e4, bishop to e7, knight to c3, and both players castled kingside. Knight to c6, bishop takes on c6, damaging the pawn structure. b takes on c6, rook to c1, queen to f5, rook to e1, rook to d8. Who is better? Material is equal, but black has a bishop pair. Is this an advantage? What do you think? The game continued. Rook to e5, queen to g6, queen to e2, bishop to f6, rook to e4, bishop to b7, threatening c5, rook to f4, c5, d takes on c5, Rook from a to c8. White is a pawn up. Knight to a4. e5. Rook to b4. Bishop to c6. Knight to c3. a5. Rook to c4. It is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Nakamura played e4. In a classical game, he would probably play rook to d4. This is very strong move. And if knight takes on d4, then black plays the obvious. And the obvious is... What is the obvious? Queen takes on g2, checkmate. Let's take it back. So probably in this position, white would play knight to e1, defending g2 square, and then rook from c to d8 and black is better, in spite of being a pawn down. Back to our game. e4. Knight takes on e4. And white is now two pawns up. Black to move. How would you continue now? Nakamura played bishop to b5, pinning the rook. And this is very unpleasant move for white. g3. Rook to e8 b3, rook takes on c5, white to move. Moving the queen to a better square seems like a good way to go. Instead, Duda played knight takes on f6, check. Let's examine queen to c2. Queen to c2 seems like a decent move. One line goes like this, rook takes on c4, but after b takes on c4, bishop to c6, and black is better. Back to our game. In a difficult position, knight takes on f6, check. Queen takes on f6. Perhaps queen to d3 should have been conceded. 
Queen takes on e8, check. Bishop takes a queen. Rook takes on c5. And it would be all good if white had one more move. Black to move and to capture the knight. Rook to c8, pinning the bishop, queen to e2, defending. Rook from 1 to c3, intending rook to e3. King to h7, rook to e3, working with the two pieces, but black has an easy solution. And that is queen to, queen to d1, check. King to g2, queen to d5, check. King to g1. And after playing this move, Duda resigned. In this position, white has two good moves. One is bishop to c6, and another one is bishop to d7. Which one do you like more? Let's play bishop to d7, intending bishop to h3 and then checkmate on g2. White is lost. One line goes like this. Rook to d8, preventing bishop to h3. But then, queen to d1, check. And after king to g2, check from the bishop. And after f3, queen takes rook. And I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.